Good morning. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and this is Ometta. How are you doing today? I hope today finds you well and up on your feet. It is the weekend for some from work, and for others, it is the beginning of fighting feelings of not being loved. God wants you to know you are you are not only loved but you are worth something to him he cares for you and he cares for me that word worthy means valuable costly and expensive he paid a great price for us his love pays the price for peace for sins for shortcomings for our redemption and to bring us back to him in a relationship. There is no greater love that a man lay down his life for his friend, but God gave his son, and his son gave his life. For whoever believed on the son hath eternal life and the gift of the Holy Spirit to seal us for him now and for always. As someone said, it was like giving us an engagement ring, a promise. God gave us that through his son. He loves us so much. He wants a relationship with us so that joy bells ring in our heart like a song that you can't stop singing. Amen. You remember times you get to singing or meditating and you just can't stop singing or you wake up with a song in your heart? Come on, that's what God wants. He is worthy and he sees you as worthy. In Matthew, the sixth chapter, he talks about the valuableness of us. He says we are more valuable than sparrows and because they plant, they don't plant and they don't harvest and they don't store food in barns. And yet he feeds them daily. He values us more than flowers that are here today and gone tomorrow and that they are clothed in beauty. And if he cares for them, how much more does he care for us? We are more valuable than a flock of sparrows. <laughs> and a flock of sparrows was very costly back in that day. Jesus let his disciples know that troubled times were coming and that he wanted them to realize that in accepting him, things were going to change for them, especially when he was gone. They were going to be ostracized, not accepted. They were going to be persecuted and made fun of and harassed and even prosecuted. Well, we know in our time, people are prosecuted just for knowing the name of Jesus. In the midst of this, he stops and begins telling them how valuable <laughs> they are because of the persecution, the ostracism, and chances of being prosecuted can cause you to become devalued, to feel devalued. Isn't that amazing? That he went through all of that and then he stops us and says, wait a minute, let me give them something to hold on to. What a mighty God we serve. He loves and cares and it's manifested in Jesus Christ <laughs> who paid the price for us with his blood. We are valuable. Let's look at some of the things that we are valuable for in this earth. There are approximately 12 pints of blood in an adult, and that blood can be sold for $50 a pint. If we multiply that by 12, that's $600. In the hospital, the average charge for blood is $219, $219 a unit, and a unit is equal to a pint. You are valuable. If we multiply that, we come up with $2,628 just for the blood. 
But looking back in Matthew's time, you would have looked like a very rich person. <laughs> Therefore, you are worth $2,628 just for your blood. But guess what? That's not the only thing that God invested in you. He has placed a tremendous task of bringing his children back to him. Remember Proverbs 8? I said we were in him before Christ and then in Christ when Christ came and we accepted him. He placed in us then a workshop, a workshop, a task for us to do. And he wanted us to fulfill it in the earth. He wanted us to house the homeless, to feed those who had no food, to comfort the comfortless. God has made a great investment in us. We are valuable. In the midst of our feelings, oh, brothers and sisters, we are not devalued. Man may devalue us, but God values us. And he wants you to know that going into the weekend. So you can fight against the enemy attacking your mind with stuff that is not according to God's word. You are valuable. Amen. I want you to listen to this song. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you for your faithfulness to us. You, We thank you for your manifested love and knowing that we are valuable to you. Like <laughs> in olden days, they could feed 2,500 people with just a pence. <laughs> Boy, are we valuable to God. And we know that we have a duty in the earth. We want to glorify you in all that we do. And so God, keep our mind in the things that are good and pure and upright and honest. Because that's where the joy comes from. It is like sunshine on a cloudy day. Amen. And we give you praise. I will see you on Monday. I pray you have a good weekend. Stay masking. Stay distancing. And don't forget, your father loves you and you are valued. Yes, you are. Voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Am I more than just the sum of every heart and every? again just who I am because I need Your identity is in Christ.